his life too much. And so I stepped in there to help adopt and raise that. Um, so you guys know my kids. My kids have worked at the UN. My kids are ambassadors of the world. My kids speak multiple languages. Like I said, my youngest daughter is the youngest kid to graduate in modern his recent history from an Ivy League school. You know, I'm a little upset, so I know I'm probably rambling and leaving out parts and jumping all over the place. I'm sorry. Y'all can hang up. I love you. you. I know everybody's going to be calling me later. But you all know that for sure that my kids are not brainwashed. So I thought that was crazy that people actually started to believe that because I could see the messages and the comments and... Oh, sorry. And sometimes people just want to have something to say. And I understand that too. So today, the whole topic, and I thought about people, all my friends in the industry and who I could call and what media people I could talk to about this. And who do I go to talk about this? And I thought about this all the time, but I never really have, you know, the right person. And it's never really come to me. So I just thought I'd turn on my thing here and say this. But for someone to imply that my kids are brainwashed uh, because they honored um, the job or the duty that their mom fulfills on a daily basis, 365 days of the year, 24 seven is crazy. No one's brainwashed. You guys can go and see, you know, no one's delusional. Um, hold on one second. Wolfie. Yeah. I love you. What are you doing? You, 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 are you trying to play in here with mom? Okay, but I, can I just do this little quick interview and then you can come right back? Can I? Okay, only because I don't want just. Okay, I love you. Okay, I love that. Come back, okay? So let me just read my comments. Look at my crazy big movie screen you guys that's actually a movie screen it's huge it's like the biggest one one of the biggest ones i could find and it has a direct throw projector so that projector shoots right up to that screen it's super close anyway <clears throat> we're not going to get into all of our tech gadgets but what was i saying so you all know that my um kids are not brainwashed uh those of you that know me here also know um what kind of parent i am i have been a parent pretty much all my life. I was a very young, um, probably too young uh, bride. So I had these kids very early. And you guys know how much my family means to me and you know how much my kids mean to me. And you guys know, all of you that know me, absolutely know what kind of um, mother I am and what kind of family dynamic I have over here. Um, I think it's very important for you all to know um, if you look back in our history, I have always been the type of co-parent. You know, we were actually very famous for our co-parenting abilities and, you know, how we always put the good face forward and the good foot forward to the world. So you guys know that. If you pay attention to the time frame um, of things, you will see that some years ago, recently, um, this ex in question uh, brought a lawsuit against me and my, and my family, um, a completely frivolous lawsuit. Um, where he accused me of all kinds of crazy stuff, like um, crazy stuff, like embezzling, you know, laundering, defrauding, all these things. Again, everybody that knows me knows that nothing could be like further from the truth. Clearly, I'm sitting right here in my home, right? There's no, you know, none of that. I didn't flee the country. I don't run. I don't have to hide from anybody. I didn't commit any uh, atrocities that I need to answer for, you know, here or in the next life at the gates, wherever I'm going to get, I don't have to do that like some other people. So if you pay attention to, excuse me, I'm a little emotional, but I get like that. So are my kids. So sorry about that. But if you pay attention to when this lawsuit was launched, it's probably like a couple years ago, you'll notice that 
that's when all of these attacks started coming from my ex. You'll notice that that's when um, a lot of a barrage of crap started coming over here to us. Um, you'll notice that the uh, kids stopped kind of over the past years, they stopped kind of uh, seeing their dad as much. And also, again, I have five kids, so I've always been like, you know, an open book. We, all my other kids consider, let me turn to the light, consider Russell to be, um, considered him to be at one point in time, like an uncle. We were all very close. Um, and that goes for all my baby dads, by the way, there's evidence of that. You can see them, you know, on various far and few between events, but you can see them sometimes like on the red carpet and you'll see one person with all the kids, right? We get along like a family, like friends, like whatever. So you'll notice that all of this down talking and all of this stuff started to take a turn around these past couple of years, I think coinciding with that lawsuit. But I just wanna come and say, you know, and I never get into this. I usually let people go and rant and rave. It's funny though how this particular person in question, because I could go in on a, a few of them, one by one. Um, but it's funny how this particular person, if you, again, go look back, you'll see on their page that they post all these pictures, like we're together, like we're friends. They've even posted pictures and then said like, I just got off the phone with my kids. They sent me this great picture. None of that's true. I like receipts. So of course I have text messages. I have messages from all my kids. You know, you can go and see. I think the bottom line, like probably the breaking point for all of this was uh, over the past many months um, when their dad just sort of cut them off. Um, he was contributing a little bit of cash to their like monthly, you know, college spending, not much, a couple hundred dollars, probably maybe $500 maybe a little more. Again, all these things can be, you know, proven with receipts. I, I love receipts. So folks can always go and get receipts and show over the years. Um, um, and so one day he just kind of cut the kids off. There was no more money coming in, no more like allowance, quote unquote allowance. I think he probably did that just to double up the expenses on me, which is no problem. I stepped up, I did it. But when he did this, it was around um, just before finals and graduation. It was some months ago, just before finals and graduation. And he did it without telling the kids or talking to the kids or anything. He did it, it's funny, after he did an interview with, um, I heard some clips from an interview with uh, this young man. I don't know, but I see him a lot. I think his name is Academic or DJ Academic. Oh, happy Juneteenth, you guys. We're doing all this on Juneteenth. Come on, let it go. Let it out. Um, so I saw in that clip, that was some months ago too. You can go and reference it and find it where he told this guy, he was on and on about this guy. And I think it was about old school hip hop heads and how you should honor them, which I believe you should. Um, but he was saying to the guy, like, I'm so rich. I got this and I got that and I'm this and that. None of that could be further from the truth. You know, he has turned around and then again, I have records and evidence of this where he's told the kids in writing we have it text messages i'm broke i this i that i can't you know go get it from your mom now meanwhile i have been financially carrying this person probably for the last at least 10 years myself and my ex-husband again this is all proven with receipts so if whatever somebody doesn't like what i'm saying you know we could talk about it we can come we can open up our receipts i, I love it i love receipts um but i've taken care of this person to the tune of many, many, many millions of dollars to help with their bills, their overhead, their companies that they run into the ground, their unsuccessful bids, all of their stuff. Um, I don't necessarily speak for my kids, but I think I could take probably a good shot at it. They're sleeping right now because it's not even 8.30 in the morning. But my two oldest girls, they're young women. They're young women of the world. Um... I think that was a very, that was very tough for them that their dad like kind of cut them off and cut off conversation and cut off try helping them. And he's even said things to them like, why did you go to college? You shouldn't have gone to college. You wasted that money. You could have saved it while I'm up here trying to hustle the kids over the finish line. You know, it, uh, that was crazy. It's just been so many things that kind of negate 
what I'm trying to do over here in my house. Again, like I live in Beverly Hills, California. You know, I go between New York and LA. People know how to find me. They know how to see me. I see people walking up and down the street all day, every day. Um, I'm just not going to tolerate this from someone who's not on the streets walking around every day. Um, they are like, I don't know, apparently like hiding under a rock someplace far away in another country. You know, again, these girls are adults. They are young adults. Um, I typically try to be very friendly and amicable with all my baby daddies, whatever. But I think it comes a time when you guys have to ask yourself, why are these women, young women, um, not supportive or not really trying to hear that? Or what have they gone through? What have they seen that they, you know, that has turned them off or that has put a, a bad taste in their mouth? You know, we've seen a lot lately over the years. And I have literally stood by these people and this man all my life. Um, and I just get so emotional when someone tries to attack my parenting or my family or my kids that have tried so hard. You know, you can see all the press that we've done, all the interviews that we've done. I mean, it's a community thing. These kids graduating from high school, I mean, college, high school too. And all my friends, you know, I say the same thing. It's every person knows here that has had graduates. I graduated from college only just recently in the past, like five years. It's tough. You know, they're teenagers developing into young adults now. They have lived their whole life in the public I, which I guess is a good thing and a bad thing because it's good because you know my kids, you know my family, you know, and so I hope that uh, the public can kind of decipher some of these things and some of this, you know, bullshit. But it's also bad because you grow up and again, your stuff is in the public eye. You don't get to like, you don't get to handle things that privately and discreetly like other people may have a chance that are not in the public eye. So I am very touched and emotional. I become very emotional. People always say, Kamora, you're such a boss. You're such a leader, but you're so emotional. I am. I am emotional. I will, you know, like snap in a heartbeat when it comes to my kids. I think everybody knows that. And so the fact that you would come at this point and um, the fact that you would come at this point and try to attack my kids or my family is crazy. Um, I'm very, very proud of my kids. Um, I love them very much. Um, and I'm just not, I'm not going to tolerate this. I'm tired of it. I literally woke up to this. I haven't had a chance to like get on the phone and call people and get the whole thing going and call publicists, call friends and do all that. I've gotten, you know, enough. Um, I just came on here and did it like this. I'm sorry. I'm in my living room. Those are all my crazy clothes I'm, re I'm renovating my closet and so I my clothes are here behind me and so it looks like I'm in a warehouse but I'm really in my living room so um I think if you look at just some of the facts this person was not present at graduation again there was not one graduation there were several graduation events both for NYU and Harvard you can look these things up there's a schedule there you know public events you can anybody can come or get tickets or show up or be there they're usually in auditoriums nyu was at yankee stadium um one of the graduations the other ones were at um smaller venues and locations one of ours was at the beacon theater they're all over the same in for harvard and boston you know there's many different groups that graduate so yoki's like a, cl a classics major it might be the classics group or the division of um, arts and science or you know, the law group, the this group, the that group, everybody has a graduation in addition to the school as a whole, right? So my point of saying all this is that 
um, is that hi Rinbex. Hi, you guys. The point of saying all this is that if you look, this person has not been to any events, did not come to graduation. You know, no, no, he wasn't particularly wanted, but no one stopped you, you know, hasn't sent a flower or a, or a gift or a, a, a kind word, you know, cut the kids off when they were traveling around. Like Yoki was on a trip to Greece with the classics department. She didn't know that her little debit card or whatever wasn't working. That was a whole mess. And it's a lot. Again, you parents will know when you have kids that are in the middle of finals and studies and stuff like that and, and stuff comes up and their things aren't going through and they're, you know, whatever. It was a, it's been a stressful past months getting through college and it's been a stressful past just a couple of years dealing with this um um just dealing with this craziness hold on i'm just trying to see what you guys are saying and i can't um so i just want to say i usually stay here and i try to be very supportive of my family i've tried to be very supportive all the time of uh even my baby daddies i've sat quietly through things and you know just because I'm a mom I've tried to you know look the other way for things and turn the other cheek and I don't know I sometimes feel like um some of those things come back to haunt you over time um and stuff like that so, you know, I, I'm not really sure, but I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. Again, like I'm sitting here with my kids in my house. Easy to find me, not running, not hiding. Not, you know, not doing any of that. And so to have these constant um, attacks is just kind of crazy.